The month long warning period given for drivers speeding near two Richmond schools is coming to an end. Come Monday, citations will be officially going out if you're captured exceeding a certain amount of miles over the school zone limit during certain hours. 8 News reporter Madison Moore joining us live in Richmond with the details of this. And Madison, how are folks reacting to this? It's speeding cameras like this one right here near Linwood Holton Elementary where we are right now and ones near Patrick Henry School of Science and Art that are catching these drivers and come next week. If you go 11 miles over the school zone limit, be prepared to have a pricey ticket in the mail. These cameras have been active for about a month and then in a few days you'll start getting tickets if you're blowing through these lights. The way to avoid getting a ticket is to drive safely. On Monday, March 18th, drivers near Linwood Holton Elementary in Patrick Henry School of Science and Arts be prepared to say cheese as it marks the end of the 30 day ticket warning period. Lieutenant Harold Gills with the Richmond Police Department's Special Operations Division says in that period they issued 4,227 warning violations after capturing drivers going 11 over the school zone limit. The speed limit through here when the school's in session is 25 miles an hour. Uh, current speed, average speed through here during the school session is 38 miles an hour. That is way too fast to go through a school zone. All four speeding cameras will continue to be activated during school arrival in the morning from 715 to 915 and during afternoon dismissal from 215 to 415. And if you violate the rule. Well, as you know, um, we're, we are short of officers and we cannot place an officer in each of these school zones every day. So this is just a. Uh, this just enhances our presence out here. The Richmond City Transportation Engineering Program Manager Andy Baino says the city specifically chose these two locations to roll out the safety camera program because the city's data shows both areas experience a high number of serious crashes and the goal making it safer for everyone in the area. Our hope is that eventually there wouldn't be a need for more cameras because everyone would be driving safely and we would be able to walk, ride bikes, get on the bus, drive without serious injuries. The time frame is unclear at the moment, but the city will eventually have a total of 26 cameras placed in 13 different school locations and the activation times will not change. As of right now, the next two schools in line for these speeding cameras are Lucille Brown Middle and River City Middle, but the city said that could change. But again, this all starts Monday, so make sure to slow down. Live in Richmond tonight, I'm Madison Moore, 8 News.